So, Games Workshop have brick in terms of production. Um, so they were like, okay, we're going to postpone deliveries and schedules for now. Anyway, here's an art you can't buy. This is the <laughs> no pre-orders till May, which is fine. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Like, it's cool. It's whatever. I, I would so much rather they said no pre-orders till May and let everyone know about it than say, yes, we've got some stock you can have, but unfortunately you can only have a little bit of it. Okay. That's, that's just better, yeah? Yeah. Um, so let them get some time to get you know, a warehouse that they've just moved or changed or whatever and uh, like get it all set up and full and then we can buy some toys. Mm. But you're right, here's an orc that you're not going to get for a while. No, but it is bloody beautiful. Uh, and he's got a gun! Wait, this is not he's an Age of Sigmar? No, this is a 40k orc. It's an orc boy. It's an orc boy. He has guns and a yeah. chain axe. Yeah, it's like crazy. This looks like a 40k model. We've done it again. Um, but yeah, there so we go. this is a beast snagger. Um, one of the guys who's not riding a squig. Um, and they've decided to tease you with one of these for now. Um, it's a really nice model. Out of interest, what would you have been more excited about? A preview saying we're releasing a brand new Walk Boys kit. Or here's an Age of Sigmar kit for your 40k games. <laughs> I mean, because <laughs> if they'd put this up first, I'd have had a happy accident in my chair. Mm. What a cool looking dude is this guy. He is very cool. So it says, uh, while they're not quite as durable as a knob, they can certainly swing their choppers just as hard, which makes them especially prone to lord it over the boys they charge alongside. So what we can see with this, the beast snagger, um, we don't actually know his name, do we? Um, he hasn't Dave. got a name, Dave. So what we can see from Dave and all his friends is that um, he's going to be larger than an orc boy, or yeah. more primarisified. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was getting there, but not quite as big as an orc <laughs> knob. And if you compared orc knobs to terminators like they did in Black Reach all those years ago, and call orc boys the tactical marines, this guy's right in the middle, much like Primaris. So are they primar primar orc? Oh, Primorchus. Primorchus. Primorch. Yeah. So they, they are essentially, what it feels like is they are making Primaris middle ground orcs where they don't replace all the old orc yeah. boys because everyone, everyone will hate them if they do that because no yeah. one wants to buy that many again unless you're playing a new army. You'd love that. Whereas yeah. the only yeah, people that would like that are, are people that have always wanted to collect an orc army and they just have gone, they look terrible. I'm not doing it. Yeah. I'll wait. Yeah, that's the only people that get get made better off in that situation, mm -hmm. and that's not a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Whereas, whereas they can be like, okay, here's some cool things that kind of sit in the middle and don't affect the old ones, but yeah. these will be obviously better. They'll, these will have two units, yeah. knobs will have three. So if you are an orc player, then you might want to end up with a unit or two of these. Yeah, and then you'll be really and so annoyed, much really good. and then they'll keep releasing new units that are prime orcs or prime or Morkis. And then, um, yeah. and then you'll have a whole army, and you'll be like, Oof, "Look at them, all the old boys. Who would use those?" <laughs> I know. And this um, is the best way of doing it. We were talking about this on stream last night. We were relation to Tyranids, actually. Yeah. Um, and people saying the Carnifex is a, a terrible kit that sits in like a, a wrong kind of set of of brackets, and its stats aren't great, and so on. They need to X, Y, and Z with it. And yeah. I, I said that they're never gonna do that. Mm -hmm. but what they might do instead of releasing a new Khan effects kit is release the primaris effects yeah where you'd have primaris basically like a bigger version that hits harder and has more wounds and feels more like a Khan effects yeah in the fluff yeah exactly but you won't just get a new Khan effects yeah same with like gene stealers as well i don't think they'll ever touch that kit again uh, they'll release... um, part of me hopes that they they do because that kit is complete jank it but is but they will just have primary stealer they'll just make bigger stealers you know like pure strength yeah they've already done it once whether yeah. it's gene stealers but they were bigger why, did, why does everything have to thing. get bigger and bigger it's because they can now you know yeah the, the technology exists to give you decent sculpts for a start yeah um they're no longer like physically creating um the original sculpt so they're not having to hand cast something yeah exactly. then get the, the, a the three up of it and it master it. mold it and yeah you know and um, uh, the other thing as well is it sets them apart in terms of like proxies so other companies have to keep upping yeah. the scale 
where it only works for one game. Whereas if you can like buy a third party orc with a gun that works across multiple games, but if you got third party orc who's the wrong size, then yikes. But yeah, so this new orc looks really cool. I'm re I'm real big fan nice. of it. And uh, yeah, it's quite interesting that the answer, I guess that's all they can do. The answer to the fact that they can't deliver anything is just to show more stuff that you can't buy it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you've got to keep the hype train rolling. You, you yeah. can't press pause on the hype train. There's no, no exactly. breaks. It has to still still be going. Yeah, because you can't um, even order Bellacore right now, right? The pre the pre order got sold out pretty much globally before the before um, it went on sale. Yeah. So it was but just on the to be clear, Bellacore is coming back into stock, right? Because we've heard these <laughs> I mean... rumors before. No, I'm not going to make any promises. <laughs> I've got no you know. idea. I said about Curse City and then I was wrong. <laughs> and by wrong, I mean they changed their mind. <laughs> no, by wrong, but you mean they went back and deleted every single trace that they changed their mind. Yeah. No, well, I mean, that's fair enough. social medias. That's fair enough because you want to make a consistent message. Yes, even that, absolutely. Even though you change your mind, obviously, you want to make sure it's consistent from that point. Um. His barrel yeah. is drilled. His barrel is drilled, which is a nice a nice thing they've done. You know? They've actually drilled the barrel, which is nice. But it's a very cool model. Yeah. I like his bullet like his bluey green like like the scales. The luggage under his eyes, which is fun. Oh uh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I thought that was good as well, actually. It's just a really nice paint job as well, so it is. I, I like the little bits of battle damage they're doing on the on the the white as well. There's a lot of things that GW has started to do now with their box art minis. Mm -hmm. um, that this is just a, a a standard thing that's happening across their their range now, and I really really like it. It's not just hey little Timmy, you can draw boxes around all our details, and there you go. It's like here's to how to do some actual painting as well as doing mm -hmm. some edge highlights. I love that. Yeah, exactly. I wonder what uh, creature that the, he's supposed to be wearing. Um, oh, I'm like guessing some kind of a squig. Yeah, maybe. It looks like a lizard man, doesn't it? And obviously it's the fair. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got this, the same colours and yeah. the uh, staggered on green kind of deal. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think this is brilliant. I, I love the direction that the model's got. This one... I've said before about the beast stagger, um, the riders, the squig riders. I think the orcs themselves look very bland. Mm. Uh, oh, this one, that's just reminded me. I had an epic meme that Gumbelina met sent uh, that I was gonna uh, show off, and uh, I'm not okay. show off. I was gonna use as a going live picture, but then I didn't because I forgot. Oh. No, because I was pissed about with my camera. <laughs> Let me bring up Gumbelina. It was fucking brilliant. Look at that. Just waiting for it to. <laughs> It was excellent, to be fair. Yes, <laughs> that's my thumbnail for tomorrow when this clip comes out. <laughs> that awesome. one, it's great, awesome. right? I love that. Excellent job, Gumblina. I had to dig for yeah. it. He put it in the Top new release shit posting on Discord, uh, not in the memes channel, which threw me off big time. But yeah, I, I big fan of this, it, and I wish they just come out with this originally. Something that's interesting though, and I don't know if this is people and myself included, just reading a little bit too much into this. Mm -hmm. We've already established that this orc is probably going to be bigger. Yeah. Um, Games Workshop tend to do their stats on the physical uh, like attributes of the miniature. So if a mini is big, then it gets more wounds or more toughness or more strength. Yeah. And in the article, it says that you know it loses the fact they hit as hard as a knob. So are we talking strength five orc boys? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I reckon at least plus one str uh, plus one wound and plus one attack compared to an orc boy. So an orc will be tough as four. Well, I'd say like you reckon two these attacks base. Two I reckon these will have two wounds and, and knobs will have three. That would make the wow. most sense to me. Because knobs have always that's, been the equivalent. Like you've got mega knobs, obviously. Yeah. But the knobs have always been like the equivalent of a terminator, right? Until mega knobs came around. Yeah. I mean, that, that was meant to be the they're sort of equal on the tabletop but mm -hmm. admittedly back in the 1990s um yeah it could be then they, they could have more wounds still i haven't really thought about that that makes them as tough as a knob because knobs have two wounds yeah but then the, if they're gonna do that then they'd have to make knobs even better you know 
Which I don't, but you know, they've well, got no save, so free wins is nothing, you know. They might have their own knob in their unit that has three wounds. A normal knob could just still have two wounds, and a normal orc boy could just have one. Yeah, true, maybe. Because otherwise, if you make all orcs two wounds, is there much of a point to somebody get. Look, think about Primaris, right? When Primaris came out, it's like, the Marines were two wounds. And then three years later, normal Marines have two wounds yeah. now. I don't think I don't think they'll make Orc boys two wounds. No, I don't. Unless they can you imagine the points up by four? As well. Yeah, like Just... <laughs> like all the, <laughs> the points are like four times as much as they are now. Uh, yeah. I've got to say, it's still unsure. Said he called it with noblets because that's what brilliant the noblets. <laughs> I like um, it. Who cares about knobs where the orc primaris lieutenant models? <laughs> um, someone posted that. I can't, I can't remember what someone scared. posted. It was funny though. Uh, it was like prime more case uh, lu lieutenant. What else? Like, like yeah, yeah, lieutenant. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Uh, basic orcs oh in AOS have two wins, so why not? Because you don't run units of thirty in AOS. You you don't run one hundred and twenty boys in AOS. Yeah. Yeah, that's why it, it's a, it becomes a balance issue at that point. And that's a little bit less fluffy, I appreciate. Yeah. Um, but would you rather have a game that's super fluffy or a game that actually works? Mm -hmm. uh, you have to balance the two, obviously, because the fluff for me is, is important. It helps drive my love for the game. But I love the game when it plays well. Yeah. You also, yes, you run 30 boy units in AOS. Well, the thing is there is that the big thing you're not considering is wound spilling in AOS, which is massive. So Yeah, especially you do up. You know, you do six damage, you kill three orc boys. In this, you kill one, which wouldn't work. Yeah. Don't think that would work unless, like I've been saying for a long time, 40k should have wound spilling in combat 100%. They took it off the flail, didn't they? Yeah. The, the, they, should, the they should give everyone that. I think. Strombo, Strombo Linek. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. It would mean that I'm likely to use things like the Reaper Chainsword in combat as a night player. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, that's minus four, six damage. So I'm chasing down some Primaris. That's going to kill How cool three. How that be? But not shooting, because shooting is too strong. The Stampy Foot mm -hmm. would do maybe kill two if I was lucky. You yeah, know? exactly. Um... So I th I think in 40k it should get wound spilling it in combat only. Shooting is too strong. They've proved that in okay. AOS. They've proved that shooting spilling wounds is too strong. So make it just in combat and make it in 40k as well. Because I think about a smash captain into a... This is very off topic now, so let me just write the end of this video. Um, I think about a smash captain with a thunder hammer, right? He's not going to go in and kill five orc boys. He's going to like slap ten of them with that hammer, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, except you might only kill five if it's the new ones. You know? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, think, um, I think they should spill I, I get it. I mean, you should annihilate a unit of 10 Gretchen. They, they should stand no chance. Yeah, exactly. also, and they should all be dead in a heartbeat. Yeah. Um, but then I'm kind can... of in favour of it. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. I think it'd be really cool.